Okay. We have performed a study in uh, hemophilia B patients, severe hemophilia B patients, and we uh, had as aim to see whether gene therapy uh, is a feasible therapy, a safe and efficacious uh, therapy for patients who have uh, severe hemophilia, which is uh, characterized by bleeding in joints, spontaneous bleeds, traumatic bleeds. Um, and uh, so what we've done is uh, we uh, had 10 patients in our cohort. We had two cohorts, one with a low dose vector and one with a high dose vector and genome copies. And what we've done is um, uh, patients were selected uh, based on the fact that they had severe hemophilia. They were, um, had to be a over 18 years old and they had to have a severe bleeding uh, history. So patients were included when they had severe hemophilia, let's say less than 1% factor 9, or uh, when they had between uh, 1 and 2%, but also severe hemophilia arthropathy. So we included 10 patients. They were infused, uh, to make a long story short, they were infused with uh, over a 30 minute period with the gene therapy pr uh, product. And what we saw is actually after a few weeks already an increase of their endogenous factor 9 production. So the uh, low dose cohort, actually uh, 4 out of 5 patients reached levels over 2% with a mean level of about 5%. And in the patients who were treated in the high dose cohort, so with a slightly higher dose of factor um, with the factor 9 gene in there, they had levels up to 7% median and one patient even got up to 13%. And that resulted in a dramatic uh, change of their clinical phenotype. They used prophylaxis, most of them used prophylaxis, so with factor 9 concentrate before the procedure and after the procedure they could stop it all uh, except for one patient. So 9 out of 10 patients did not require any prophylactic administration of factor 9 anymore. And in the high dose cohort, which had a higher expression of factor 9, which was expected of course, only one patient experienced one bleeding episode over half a year. So the results are amazing, are exciting and are very good news for patients with such a rare bleeding disorder. Of course we had to look at side effects because it was a study aiming also to look for uh, is it safe and what we found was that there were hardly any side effects. The infusion was well tolerated, one patient had a slight fever um, but that was the only adverse event during the uh, actually the intervention of the infusion and uh, three out of ten patients developed slight liver function abnormalities. Uh, four to 12 weeks after the uh, infusion, which is factor related probably. And what was treated with a short course of prednisone. And that has been observed also in the other gene therapy trials that are currently performed or have just been completed. So it was well tolerated by the patients. They uh, had uh, slight side effects or minor side effects, which were, were well controlled with uh, medication and they are doing very well uh, till today. I treated myself in our hospital three patients and two of them I followed for uh, over a half a year now and they have changed, their lives have changed dramatically. Have infusing twice a week for more than 30 years, now no infusion anymore in half a year. That is incredible, it's really incredible.